Hey, how's it going? Miguel Martinez Juarez here. Um, so I'm going to be talking about an exercise that you can apply to start manifesting in your life, manifesting what you want, okay? And it holds two fundamental um, ideas. One is focusing on what you want, right? And second, allowing it, okay? Allowing it. Um, there's three laws that Jerry and Esther Hicks talk about in their book, The Law of Attraction. Three fundamental laws, right? Three fundamental laws, okay? Um, yeah, I want to I wanna say them verbatim, okay? So give me a moment while I look for them, okay? And in this, in this exercise, you're going to get, you're going to apply the laws, okay? And the one is... The law of attraction, we, you get what you think about, right? That it, that which is like unto itself is drawn, you know? You don't get what you want, you get who you are, right? Whatever you're feeling is where you're gonna get because that's who you are, okay? That's who you are. Okay, now this in this exercise, you're using the law of attraction, okay? So you will, one, use the law of the science of deliberate creation, okay? Meaning you constantly think about what you want, okay? And feel about it. You think about it and feel about it. So you're attracting it, applying the law of attraction. And then, uh, and you apply the law of the art of allowing, okay? Which says, I am that which I am, and I am willing to allow all others be that which they are. So you allow yourself to be what you are and you allow others to be what they are, okay? So you believe that you can do what you can or want. You allow others to do what they what they believe they can and want, okay? <clears throat> now, let's go to the exercise, okay? The exercise. I did it myself, actually, this morning, too. And, and it, it makes a lot of sense, right? Um, so this is what the exercise, okay? Here, they tell you take three pieces of paper, okay? Three pieces of paper and why three? Because you want to focus on your goals, right? You don't want to have too many goals. Even Bob Project says two to three goals, right? Or just one main one, okay? One main goal, that way you attract it. Because focus gives you power, gives you that emotion of what you uh, what you want, okay? Focus is power, okay? You get what you focus on. And what you focus on is what you're feeling about, thinking and feeling about, okay? It's so simple, all right? Now, if you read this, if you read this and study this over and over again, you got to do it over and over again because the first time you go, oh, I understand. But then you start talking to other people, you start thinking about your ways you used to, used to think. You got to think and act differently now that you're getting this information. Okay. So on the first page, so that's your first goal, right? Or second or third, um, what have you. On the first page, um, you want to write on the top of the page what you want. Okay. And write it in present tense. I am this, I am joyfully this, I am so happy and grateful now that, I mean, your goal, right? <clears throat> now, you, let's say top performer, right? Because I want a top performer bonus in my company. I am so happy and grateful now that I am the top performer, okay? I'm so happy and grateful now that I am a top performer, right? I am a top performer. Now, under that subject, Right, and then you could do do the other two, or the other two pages, right? The, the the other remaining goals, so you have a total of three. Now beneath the goal, right? These are the reasons that I want this. Why do you want this? Right, to get better at sales, to earn to earn more money, right? To be the best version of myself. I realized everything, all my goals were like to be the better version of myself. You know, to be, get better. So it's always about like growth. That's, that's a commonality I'm I'm thinking about right now that I'm. As I'm reflecting on it okay so do it for all the pages why what are the reasons all right these are the reasons that I want this boom boom to this to that to that to you know to feel this to have this whatever it is right now <clears throat> turn the page over and right on top of the sec right on top of the of the page on of the other side of the page these are the reasons that I believe that I will have this. Why do you believe you can have this? All right, and just write whatever comes to mind. Just write it. Just write it until you stop and you're done. 
You hear your inner self say, done. Okay, done. Don't force it. Just This has to be a joyful process, okay? Remember, you, you're getting what you think about. So if you're thinking, uh, you're thinking and feeling good, you're going to get more good, okay? Positive attitude, positive results. Negative attitude, negative results, okay? So do that for all your, your goals, the, the three goals, right? Right? Um, write them down. Now you're going to see why why you want it, right? The reasons you want, you want that goal and the reasons you believe it, okay? Why you, uh, like, so these are the reasons that I want this, okay? That helps you with the, um, the um, deliberate intent, okay? Deliberate creation, okay? As soon as you start thinking and feeling about it, the law of attraction is in effect. And the law of attraction is always in effect because you can never stop thinking and feeling. You're always feeling and thinking. That's why they're, they're, their programs or their um, paradigms, you know, these are just different words for them, right? Or your self-image, they're your self-image, all right? <clears throat> you never stop thinking or feeling, all right? So this is going to start changing those thoughts, start changing your programming, so you start attracting, okay? And and the, the part where you write, these are the reasons that I believe that I will have this, creates the belief. That's the allowing, the law of allowing. Allowing yourself to have it. Telling yourself you, you deserve it, you're worthy of it, right? You're worthy of everything, okay? You are you were sent here to, here on earth, to create, okay? And like Jerry Nestor Hicks talks about, uh, and Abraham, that your emotional guidance system is what tells you what you want. What do you love, right? I love creating these video, these videos, okay? I love creating them, okay? I want to be honest, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I kind of don't want to do it. But now that I'm on here, I'm just like, I love this. And I know it's going to help you because I'm always stand here to empower people, okay? And of course, create, create as well. Uh, but empower people, okay? And teach you these laws, all right? Yeah, like, you know, I was incarcerated as a teenager. Then I went to UCLA and I got a BA and MA, you know, became an honor student. Big difference, right? They even have a high school education, okay? I started getting overweight, started getting sick all the time. And then haven't been sick in five years. I'm always recreating myself. I just didn't know that this, these laws, you know, we're all doing it. We're all doing it. All the things that you got in life, you've thought about and felt about and you, you received them. That's why you're, you're experiencing them. Okay. So you just got to feel it. As soon as you start feeling it, you're attracting it into your life. If you don't feel it, you're, you're never going to get it. Okay. So in, in the feeling part, it goes with the deliberate creation. You think and feel about your goals, okay? The, Jerry and Esther Hicks want you to only do one, one, two, three. You know, not too much because then all your energy is separated, right? And then you're not going to have any. You're going to be like, why are they taking so long, right? But you just focus on one and you start attracting. And you start attracting it really fast. You know, start reflecting on your, on your life. Reflecting on the things that are popping up in your life because they show you. They show you what, which way to go. So it's good to be in the present moment as well. Okay? So apply this. Apply this exercise. Take out one to three pieces of paper. Write, I, write it in present, pre, in present tense. I am so happy and grateful. Or I am joyfully enjoying this. So I, I am so happy now that I have this. I'm so, but it's, the best one is, is, I think, it's to say I am so happy and grateful. Because you're happy, you're grateful. Or I am so joyful and grateful. Gratitude is, is telling the universe that you already have it. Okay, and here, here's a page where it says, um, there, there's a part that's so good. And it says, appreciation brings it to you. Okay, the things that you appreciate come to you. Okay, the thing, appreciation of it attracts it to me. Okay, because you're, you're showing faith, you're showing belief, right? So, I'm so happy and grateful. Now that I am, and then your goal. Okay? Do one to three and ask yourself the questions, okay? On one side, ask yourself, these are the, answer this, these are the reasons that I want this. And on the other side, these are the reasons that I believe that I will have this. Okay? First one is deliberate intent, deliberate creation. The other one is uh, the art of allowing, okay? Allowing yourself to have it. Hope you like this one. And thank you.
If you want more information, more resources, look in the description. I have um, I have books and programs that will help you out. Okay, so you have to you don't have to go through this alone. Okay, all right. Thank you.